I have given the Justice Department the power to shut down the fake news like CNN and the Washington Post. I am hereby declaring a national state of emergency, blacking out all non-government communications. I'm Jonathan Greenberg, an investigative financial journalist who has been writing about Trump since 1982, when he conned me into putting him on the first Forbes 400 rich list. Trump wanted a better ranking on the Forbes 400. Well, it's really closer to even the, the ultimate, but it's in excess of 90%, yes. So yes, that was Trump on the phone, posing as his own hype man. Trump lied to get onto the Forbes list. Then the Forbes list cemented him as a mogul, and then he used his mogul status to get to the White House. Trump's entire business empire and reputation as a successful businessman is based upon deception. But no one is talking about what will happen to our democracy if Trump gets another term and one more Supreme Court appointment, which our next president is likely to make. Nobody is envisioning the Hitler-esque powers that Trump is likely to assume should he fulfill his ambition and become president for life. My new Trump dystopian novel, America 2034, projects the autocratic actions that Trump has actually taken since becoming president and projects these actions into our near future. The novel is frighteningly not very far-fetched. It hopes to serve as a wake-up call to those who have not been paying attention to the dangerous virus in the White House. As reviewer Henry Garcia Alvarez wrote, the book should be required reading for voters who still believe that Trump's lunacy will not affect them or our world. Today, we establish a new constitution. <laughs>